In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can make this kind of advanced slider in your Elementor website. Here on the right side, you can see a mini card carousel. And when you change this carousel, everything is changing according to that. The background image, the content on the left side. And on the very left, you can also see these indicators, which are also perfectly working. And these transitions are also so smooth. So when you go forward, we can see that forward animation. And when you go to the previous slide, we can also see that backward animation here. Okay. So this slider is also 100% responsive. It's perfectly working from tablet, mobile, or any other devices. So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Okay, here I will start everything from scratch. But if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this advanced slider as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my template shop. So here after downloading this, you will get a zip file. So you just need to unzip that. And inside that, you will get the both container and the old non-container version. So if you are using the new Flexbox container, let's go to here and you will get this JSON file. So we need to upload this to our this template upload option. Let's just drag this to here. And we can see this one, advanced carousel with card carousel. Let's insert this. If we save this and see it from our preview, we can see it's perfectly working. And here on this edit page, you can also see we have take a carousel with these five slides. And for that, we have also take five heading widget. So from the navigator view, you can see here are five heading, five paragraph, and the five buttons for that, which are changing with that carousel change. And also for this background image, we have also set that from our this container option on here. Okay, so if you don't want this ready-made template, you can also start everything from scratch. So I want to delete all of this content. And now I will start everything from scratch. So let's click on this plus icon and select this two column structure. And first of all, I want to make it to full height, 100 VH. And instead of box, make it to full width. Now inside this left column, we will take both our this indicator and this text. So for our indicator, we will take a container. And for the text, we will take another one. So let's go to here and take an another container inside that and under here let's also add another one and as we want to place this one after another so for this parent container i want to make its direction to the row then for our this first one make its width to the full width and make it to only 30 pixel okay now inside this container we will take our this text so if you go to here, we can see when we change our this slide. Here we can see multiple headings. So basically we will put all of our these headings inside a container. So for that, let's add a container inside that. And here let's add a heading widget. Okay. Let's change this text. And also do some basic styling like changing the text color. Okay, we cannot see that. So for our that container, temporarily we will take a dark background color. Okay. Again, go to here and I want to make some changes with the typography. Let's also add a line height. Okay. And inside this container, we need to also make other five headings. So we can do that by just duplicating that. But before that, I want to do the basic structure first. So I want to now just copy this container. And inside that, instead of this heading, I want to add this paragraph widget, change this text, and also make its color to this white color. Also change font size. And let's also apply some text shadow under that. So we can perfectly see that text above our this background image. So lastly, like this paragraph, let's also duplicate this container again. And inside that, we will take a button widget. From the styling, also change its background color to this blue and also adjust this padding. And here let's also reduce the spacing at the top. So for this container, I want to make some negative top margin. Okay, now this looks good. 
so i want to place all of this content at the center so go to this parent container and make it justify content to the center okay and let's also add some padding on the left and right side so let's make it to 15 percent now on the right side to add the slider we will use the testimonial carousel widget okay let's make it to the center so go to the top most container and make its align items to the center and here we don't need this paragraph we will only use these two text and this image so let's delete this and i want to put the same text like here and also add a subtitle here upload this image and by following this let's also add the content for the other slides okay we have added total five slides and after that i want to make the slides per view to five and also make a custom width 1200 or 1400 pixel and from this advanced option i also don't want this autoplay so let's turn off this and to change this default look to our card carousel here we need to do a couple of things so first with our top container we need to add a class as-slider then with our this carousel we also need to add another one as-side-slider and after that we also need to write some custom css code and if you don't know this custom css option is only available in elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste this code okay we still cannot see that so we also need to add some javascript code with that if we paste this okay now we can see our slider so here you also don't need to worry about this any of this code snippet i will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code now here if we go to this custom css code here i have also give you some customization option like if you want to change the radius of the sliders or changing the height or the active height you can do all of this from here and here you can also notice that at the corner i have also used a slight dark overlay to show this text properly so you can also control the intensity of the overlay from this option from 0 to 1 okay so now we also need to do some adjustment with that so first of all i want to make the space between the items to 30 pixel and also on the left side you can see some gaps so make it to zero from here and i also add some padding at the bottom so add this from here and also adjust the typography with this text so let's quickly do that Okay, now that looks good and if we go to this content from this advanced option here you can see i have enabled both the arrows and dots for this carousel but we cannot see that we have disabled this from our custom css because i don't like this default design of these arrows instead i want to do this with this button widget which gives you more flexibility to design that arrows so to add the button first let's take a container here and inside that let's add this button widget and i don't want this text i only want to add an icon this one and to make it a fully round shape let's make the border radius to 100 pixel and here you can see some spacing on the right side so let's make it to zero and also adjust the padding to make it a fully round shape from here also change this background color to a semi-transparent color and also change this white icon color now like this one i want to create our second button so duplicate this and for this one i want to change this icon to the right one let's also place this one after another so go to this parent container and make its direction to the row also adjust the spacing between them to 17 pixel okay now that looks good we just need to reduce the spacing on here so let's give some negative margin so from our preview now if we click on this button here nothing actually happens so to make it functional we also need to add some class with that so for our first button let's add the class is dash slider dash lift and for this one 
add another one it is dash slider dash right now we can see it's perfectly working so after that let's work with our this text so from here we need to just duplicate these items but before duplicating i want to check this on our tablet and mobile devices because if we duplicate first and then do our responsive work then we need to do the same thing again so go to the tablet device and here we need to reduce the font size so make it to 50 the other items looks good and on the mobile we need to reduce it furthermore 30 pixel now let's go back to the desktop and here let's just duplicate these headings and change this content and like this heading we need to do the same thing with our paragraph and these buttons so duplicate this couple more times and finally to achieve our this text effect we need to add some class with our this parent container so go to this one the parent container of these headings and first we need to add a class with that it is dash changing dash widget and also need to add some another custom css okay and from the layout also make its overflow to the hidden okay you can see we have achieved this effect with our this heading so let's again go to the parent container for this paragraph and first let's make its overflow to the hidden add the class and lastly paste the exact same custom css okay and here at the top of this code from here you can also change the speed of the transition so for the paragraph i want to make it a little bit quick 0.5 second now we can see two different speed for our these two different text so i want to go back to here and like the paragraph i want to do the exact same thing for the container of this button so we have done all the things with our text next we want to add our indicator so previously we have taken this container and now here first of all i want to give it a height and also for this one we need to add a class with that as dash bar and also need to add some custom css i know it's a lot of custom css but you know by default you cannot create this kind of advanced carousel with just elementor so that's why we need a lot of custom code let's paste this and we can see our indicator on here but we need to spread that evenly with this line so go to the layout option and make the justify content to space between and also this one to center now that looks perfect so here you can see one two three four five dots so basically these dots are automatically generated with the number of your slides so for example here if i create one more additional slide in that case here you can see six dots so we don't have to do anything with that it's fully automatic okay now here we need some space on the left so go to the top container and from here i want to give it to 10 percent and after that lastly we also need to add our this changing background so for this let's go to these top containers style settings and go to the slideshow option and from here we need to upload those images and from here if you want you can also sort this by dragging it on the left and right okay here we also don't want this infinite loop so let's turn off this so basically when you upload those images from the slideshow option these background images will be automatically changes after a few interval but here i want to change those images only when i change our these slides so to do this finally we also need to add some custom css with that so go to here and paste this code okay now we can see it's perfectly working with our slide change and here if we scroll down we can see some portion of our image goes outside of this section which looks weird so we need to fix that and here additionally i also want to add an background overlay because you can see for some images we cannot see that text properly so let's go back to here and first let's make these containers overflow to the hidden and to add this overlay let's go to this overlay option and i want to add a gradient overlay so make it a dark color and also make the second color to a bright color also change the gradient angle from here 
and if you need you can also increase the opacity of this overlay okay now that looks really perfect so we have done everything perfectly on our desktop now let's take this for our other devices if you reduce the width of our devices okay here at this width before even going to our tablet i think we need to reduce the gap on the left and right of this text so for this here let's go to this container settings and here i need to make some custom media query for that okay now that looks perfect on here so let's go to the tablet width okay here we need to work on so go to the tablet device and here first of all i want to change the width of this left and right container so make it to 65 percent and for the right one make it to 35 on the left side let's also reduce the height of this indicator so make it to 500 pixel and lastly let's also customize this slider so here on the tablet make the slides per view to 3 and also reduce this width make the space between them to 20 pixel and lastly let's also adjust the padding for this text okay now from the tablet it's also looking great so lastly let's also check this for mobile okay we need to fix that so again go to here go to the mobile device and on mobile we will place our this indicator at the very last of our this section under the slider okay but before that let's go to this section settings and i want to make some padding with that and from the layout i also don't want this minimum height so make it to zero and then with our this text we need to remove this padding so go to here and make the padding to zero we only need some padding on the bottom so make it in pixel 50 i also need to reduce the cap on here so go to this container and reduce the negative margin further more then for this slider here i want to show three slides per view so make it to three make it to 100 percent and also make the space between them to 20 pixel and here on mobile i want to show these icons on the left and right of the slider so go to this button option and make its position to the absolute from the left make it to zero and from the top minus 105 pixel also do the same with this one make its position to the absolute and from the top minus 105 pixel but i want to place that on the right side so from the right make it to zero and lastly let's place these dots at the bottom so here is this one our this indicator so first i want to make its direction to the row to show it horizontally and give it a height and width 200 by 30 pixel and also make its position to the absolute to place it at the bottom from the left make it to 50 percent and from the bottom minus 175 pixel now if we see it from our this mobile preview we can see it's also perfectly working so we have completed making our this advanced slider so if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video